Greetings, this is Brother Eli with another episode of Bible Truth Revealed. This teaching is entitled, Why I Reject the KJV. That's why I reject the KJV. It is the first in a series of three videos explaining why the KJV cannot be trusted. In this series, I will provide one example of an inaccuracy in the KJV, one false promise made in the KJV, and one example of how the KJV mixes facts with fiction. Anyone that takes the Holy Scripture seriously should be careful to ensure that their Bible translation is accurate and trustworthy. I encourage you to read the KJV, which is a Christian Bible, alongside the Septuagint, which dates back to 250 years before the invention of Christianity. As you read, compare the differences that you find. You won't have to go further than Genesis chapter 2 before you find the first contradiction. The Septuagint reveals that the Most High ended his work on the sixth day of the creation week. On the other hand, the KJV says that his work ended on the seventh day. Let's look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 in the KJV. Genesis chapter 2, the first part of verse 2 says, And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made. That means he stopped working on the seventh day day. If there is a sale or promotion that ends on Friday, it means that it stops on Friday. In the same way, if God ended his work on the seventh day, this is saying that he stopped working on the seventh day. Now let's explore the same verse Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 in the Brenton Septuagint translation. It says, And God finished on the sixth day his works which he made. So to be clear, the KJV says that the Most High ended or finished his work on the seventh day. Whereas the Septuagint tells us that he ended or finished his work on the sixth day. Both cannot be correct. Six is not seven, and seven is not six. Either the Most High ended or finished his work on the sixth day or on the seventh day. We can easily check the accuracy of these sources by comparing this verse with other scriptures that speak of the same thing. I will do so using the Brenton Septuagint translation. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11 says, For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all things in them. So six Days, like the Septuagint says in Genesis 2 verse 2, not seven days like the KJV says in the same verse. Now let's turn to Exodus chapter 31 and we'll read verse 17 which confirms that the Most High created all things in six days, not seven days. Exodus chapter 31 verse 17, it says, It is a perpetual covenant with me and the children of Israel. It is a perpetual sign with me, for in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth. 
Consistently, we are seeing from the scriptures that the Most High completed the work of creation in six days, not in seven days like the KJV says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. Christians and Christian lights would argue that this is a small oversight. However, if the KJV gets this wrong from the word go, we can only wonder what else it gets wrong. I don't know about you, but I cannot trust a Bible that falls at the first hurdle. We are only at Genesis chapter 2 and the KJV has already fallen flat on its face. What else can we expect from a Bible that was intentionally written for political purposes with no interest in revealing the truth of the Holy Scriptures? Part 2 of this series will reveal one of many false promises that is written in the Christian KJV. It is a false promise that has caused many people to lose their faith in the scriptures and in the Most High when they realize that they have been deceived. Until then, for a more in-depth understanding of why the KJV cannot be trusted, please listen to my teaching entitled The Truth About the King James Bible. That is, the truth about the King James Bible. And with that I say, Shalom.